Hello everyone, welcome back to Ayman the Repair Tech channel. My name is Ayman and today we have an iPhone SE stuck on the iTunes logo and it gives me an error 9 uh, when I try to uh, restore it. So let's see how we gonna check it and how we gonna fix it. This phone is uh, brand new, nobody has touched it before, that's why I have high hopes that I will be able to fix it. First I want to check if the USB IC is working or no and I will do that by connecting the flex cable then I will connect the charger then I will measure voltage on the battery connector should have like 3.7 or something and yes I have 3.7 that's mean the USB IC is fine Let's remove the shield. Now let's check the power lines of the NAND if it has a short or no. And here I have a resistance. And here I have a resistance, it's pretty low, but uh, I think it's okay. And here also I have a resistance. So there is no short in the NAND power lines, I have to remove it to check it on the programmer if it's uh, working fine or no. This is my first time to remove this NAND chip but I think it's pretty easy one all the PCIe NANDs are uh, very easy I have never uh, been working with 5SE uh, didn't come to me since it's, uh, it has been launched Now I will put it on the GC programmer to check if the NAND is damaged or it just need a format and we will go to NAND repair and we'll choose the COM port I think it's COM3 then I will press open port and if the NAND is working it will automatically load the information but I see here that this LED is blinking that means the NAND is not reading. Let's remove it and put it again. It should blink for a while, then this one stop to load the information. That means the NAND is ready. If the NAND keep doing this, that means it's not working. I will reball it. Maybe the connection with the programmer is bad. Maybe after I repall it, it will give it some height so it can read or maybe it's totally damaged, we will see.
I was right and it's an end problem and we need to replace this NAND and to write uh, all the original information like Wi-Fi MAC address, Bluetooth MAC address and the motherboard logic uh, number. As you can see the other NAND I took from donor board it's loaded uh, directly because it's working now I will uh, have to clear all the data or format format the system file now I will choose the iPhone iPhone 5 SE and I will write this data this data is already stored with the application uh, of GC so this is not the correct data I will use this NAND only to turn the phone on but the phone will not activate because it's missing the information uh, the Wi-Fi the MAC address the MLB but to get this information I need the IMEI number and the serial num number of the phone this data takes like 24 or 48 hours so what I will do now I will put the new NAND and restore the iPhone to check if it will uh, open or it will uh, show me any different uh, problem So now let's restore the iPhone and let's see if it will give us again error 9 or it will continue the restore and start up uh, normally. What I guess it will restore completely but it will not be able to activate unless I put the data which I don't have right now. The thing is that the phone is not carrying the correct information. It's not carrying a correct serial number, it's not carrying the correct Wi-Fi and Bluetooth MAC address, it doesn't carry the uh, MLB, the main logic board uh, number. And all this information I need to uh, request it from my source. Uh, if you are interested to buy this information, you can contact me by Facebook. And it takes like 48 hours to 36 hours, two to three days to get this information. What you need is to remove the NAND again, use the programmer to write the new information. What we did here is like dummy uh, information uh, stored in the software of the GC and we need to replace those with the correct ones which you will get when you order uh, information from me or from any website. The thing is there's many websites and many scammers, many cheaters. I don't like to recommend any of those websites because I don't believe the, uh, in their time system. Sometimes they tell you it takes 48 hours and you never get the information. So when you have uh, a phone with this message this could be uh, someone uh, changed the NAND chip from before. From before the Apple server doesn't request this information, before software 11. 
So if I change the NAND and I put any information other than the serial number, the phone would work that time. But if the customer now restored the phone, this problem will show up. If you check that this phone has a replaced NAND, you have to order this information then to remove the NAND and to check if the information in the NAND uh, is same as the information I will give you. If it's not, you know what to do. You have to put the original uh, information. Other than that, if the NAND chip uh, is not replaced before, uh, you can know that by uh, seeing the glue, the underfill around the NAND. If this NAND is not removed before, so it's not a Wi-Fi address or Bluetooth issue, you have a problem with the NFC or the baseband and we will get to that uh, in later videos so if you want to see that subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of my coming videos if you like this video give me a like till then my work here is done and I'll see you next one